an AP heavyweight midge. You know, what is it? Um, it's a midge that I, I, you know, I put together to basically act as the weight and the upper fly in a two fly rig. Um, so what it is is that the top here has a 764 uh, tungsten bead, so a big, a big tungsten bead. It has some, uh, some lead, you know, wrapped in the body as well. It has a nice brassy wire and, uh, and it has this 2499 SPBL Tiemco hook, so a nice big gape. So even though you have a nice big bead on it, you have a nice gape, so you never have issues with you know penetrating and getting those those trout when the uh, when you get those dunks. Also, the hook is a uh, super point um, barbless, so this thing has that kind of that spade kind of um, hook point and really drives through and, and catches fish. So a great great pattern. You know, again, it started off as being my weight, and then it just started catching a lot of fish, and and it's just been a good one. So I've modified it, made it into snow cones and all kinds of optimages and all kinds of different styles but you know for the video I figured you know what we gotta go classic you know we gotta do the zebra everybody you know the zebra works we all know it works we all gotta have them in our in our boxes so I was gonna just show you how I tie the zebra and, and then from there you guys could go ahead and, and mess around with uh, how, how best and other patterns you wanna do so first part I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some 010 lead wire and I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pack this head up so it's about eight wraps right here of this wire. I'm gonna take in some zappa gap, put it right along the shank here, and then take this wire and just kind of just slam it right in there, right towards the bead. And what that does, it just kind of locks everything in place. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull right out of it, right to the uh, point of the hook, and then just nip it off. And that way, all of my, uh, my my flies are nice and consistent, and they look the same. So it's all good. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some uh, some Danville six aught classic thread. All I'm going to do with this thread here is I'm going to go ahead and just build up a nice taper on the fly. It really is not to be used more than just that aspect. So I'm covering up all my little lead wraps, tapering off the back end. Looks money, all good. Just nip it right off. The actual thread for the uh, for the fly is going to be this Goodabrot Ten Ot. A lot of guys remember this one as a classic thread. They stopped making the Goodabrot thread some time ago. I was lucky enough to just get a bunch of it, so I have a bunch of this stuff. But you know, you can use your Vivas and whatever you know other small threads you guys really like. Whatever you feel comfortable with, but I do recommend you use a small, really diameter thread, and you'll see why. I'm trying to make a fly that doesn't have, you know, that big bulk. You see some zebra midges, just these big black gobs of thread with some wire. I, I hopefully I'll do better than that, and show you guys how to do better than that. So um, what I like to do is I like to use some um, angel hair black, and uh, I'm going to use this to basically. Rather than using just as the overall thread on the on the pattern, I'm using this angel hair to make a true black midge that has a nice sheen to it, a nice sheen to it, and it will also um, just you know kind of have a, uh, um, a like a really nice black uh, coat to that fly. Um, I'm also going to be using um, make a small little tail here. I'm gonna be using just a little bit of some, um, sorry, using some just a midge, midge flash, and the color's pearl here. And for that, I'm just gonna take a small little section off the back end of this and just nip it off. Just a small. All you need is one little, little section of it. You can even barely see that. There it is. It's really tiny. Some guys don't add tails. I just like to add a tail right here on my vise. Why is that? Because I can. Obviously, if I'm on the water, I could remove the tail if I feel the tail is affecting the bite. But if the tail is, you know, making the trout go, and if I don't have a tail on it, then um, I'm kind of out of luck, right? So you can't add you can't add the tail in the water. Easier to take the tail off on the water. So that's why I do that. So there you go. I have the black. I have my. Um, 
my uh, my little tail and somebody asking well how about your wire Adam your wire is supposed to be wrapped through the body that's what all these midges look like well that's not how I like it so here's my wire it's just basically just some some brassy silver I don't really like tying in the wire through the body and then basically having this wire right at the end I want a really thin profiled mid I'm really going for that I really do that thing I think that matters it makes it makes it a little more uh, lifelike so I'm not gonna wrap that wire through it I'm gonna wrap the wire uh, at the back end in a different way of doing that I also don't like how the wire when you when you wrap the wire through the body how it turns at the end I, I don't know it's just one of those things about time we get to just do what we what we like and this is what I like to do it so again here's my wire how I like to do it I like to put my wire right on the back end of that of that midge right here this is right at the bottom I'm gonna make just a few wraps on it just like that lock it in place and then come back up make a make a couple more little wraps here just to kind of even out my body a little bit and there you go so now at the bottom of my fly what I have is I have my angel here I have a tail and I also have that wire so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the angel here and I'm gonna come up the fly okay and the angel hair, you're going to start noticing, makes a really nice black body. And the angel hair lays really flat. So it just makes a nice sheen coming up. And it's true, it's true black with that sheen. When you hit this with that zappa gap, it really does set it all off. So I'm going to go ahead now and just tie off my angel hair best I can there. Um, it's looking good. I think there's one little strand. Yeah, one little strand got caught up here. So I'll just nip that off. No big deal. All right. Now, this is the most important part is this wire. So what I'll do with the wire, I'm going to take it and I'm going to take the wire and bend it up along the shank. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm taking this wire up along the shank here. I'm going to take my the piece that's closest to the camera, which is kind of pointing right at you guys. I'm going to take that piece and I'm going to wrap under the wire and then come up. And I'm coming up pretty much vertically going up. That to me makes it so you have a nice start for the fly. So I'll do that. I'll come up one vertical, make one wrap. Then I'll come back around and I'll look at where, how that wire is laying out for the next wrap. It's looking good there. Again, looking good. Perfect. Good. And then as the wire comes up to the, to the head, I'll basically take the wire right to the bead and then, then I'll lock it down and do some securing wraps. So you now you have we have wire out in front, wire out in back. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really, really thin profiled here. Um, and you have a nice, nice look to that fly. Has a nice sheen to it. Looks really, really cool. Next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and um, do one quick little whip finish. Right here. To the, uh, next to the bead. Then, I'm going to go ahead and add in some, uh, some Zappa Gap right here at the front where that upper wire for that first wire is at and then right here at the tail where the other piece is at. We just wrap through, okay? By doing that now, you can blow on it. This Zappa Gap will basically harden up really fast. Do a little kind of blowing on again, and then you do the helicopter fatigue test. Comes right off. Do it now to the back end of it. Comes right off. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do one last whip finish. Perfect. Come in really nice and tight. 
and just do a nip right there on that fly. It's looking pretty good. Here's my tail right there. What I'll do with my tail, I'm going to nip it right nice and tight there. Just a small little tail on that fly. It's all good. Um, midge is pretty much done. Next I'll do is I'll just come in here with a little piece of cork here. I'm going to go ahead and just take the fly out here. And then I'm going to try to do this so you guys can see it. Again, I'm coming in with some Zappa Gap. And this is the green bottled Zappa Gap. What I've, what I've found messing around with all these midges through all these years is that the green bottled Zappa Gap for me has all has worked the best and and I, when, I, when it worked the best what what I what I see that it does is that it dries super clear super hard I've used other basically super glues and what I find is that they dry with like a little bit of a white film to it and I really hate that so put all that time in that midge and it has that white film to it it kind of sucks anyways there you go that is a finished AP heavyweight midge. I think it looks pretty good. Again, it's a big bead. It's kind of packed. Goes down. Um, this midge on the top fly is money. It, 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 will, it, will, it will sink your rig, no problem. And then below that, I put a size 16 or 18 or into the 20s, depending on what they're, um, what they're, what they're basically going for uh, that day. Typically, what I, what I always like to say is I'm actually fishing the bottom midge. But uh, this top midge is just kind of there for the show. But you know what? It, it definitely gets a lot of their attention and definitely gets dunked, you know, along with the small ones as well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, any questions, please let me know. Follow me on uh, Instagram at SoCalFlyTime and also on Facebook, SoCalFlyTime, and uh, on my YouTube channel, SoCalFlyTime as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.